James Mansfield here bringing you yet another tutorial. So, you've got big drag hair, but you don't really know what to do with it. This tutorial is going to show you a classic Old Faithful technique that will help you get a nice, sensible style out of the big drag hair you just made. What I'm going to show you is the French twist. Now, what you're going to need is, you're going to need some sort of a wig block or wig head. I'm using my canvas wig block, as well as two types of brushes the teasing comb you used in the last tutorial, as well as the smoothing comb. Two types of hairspray, a wet one. I'm using Garnier Fructis and a glue spray. I'm using Got To Be Glued. And of course, you're gonna need something to hold the wigs together. So I'm using bobby pins today. From watching my bigger hair tutorial, you'll know I also use safety pins as well. If you wanna learn more about styling huge drag hair, click the video below. And lastly, straight pins for sewing because I'm using cosplay wigs which don't have a lace so you can be as rough as you want when you stick it in there. Alrighty, stay tuned and I'll show you how to get a beautiful French twist hairstyle. Welcome back everybody. Okay, so we're gonna start by choosing which side of the hair you want to accentuate and which one you wanna pull back. Now, I chose this side. I'm going to take my brush and start packing in that hair the same way you do in my big hair tutorials. Just picking it by sections by finger. I'm not being too precise about this. We're gonna brush it all back anyway, so it's not gonna make a huge deal. The only thing you want to be precise on is where you end the teasing, so. So you're gonna want to red up into the center of the head and just go down a straight line from the front to the back of the head, teasing all over. And once you have that done, you're going to take that brush and with your hand, grip the wig in the wig stand and just hold it down while you brush it and just sweep that hair back so it all meets into the back of the head. Now, for a French twist, you're gonna to wanna to use a curly wig. You're gonna get the best results with that. I'm using a straight wig because I didn't want the curls to interfere with any of the styling. And grabbing those sewing pins I showed you before, you're going to push those into the wig to secure it down even more. You wanna make sure it's nice and sturdy because you're gonna be back combing a lot and smoothing stuff out so the wigs are gonna move and shift around so you don't want them to fall off the head. And you could use bobby pins, or what I'm doing is I'm using a clip. I'm just going to use those to secure the bangs out of the way because they have a tendency to get mixed up with the rest of your brush out. I'm going to smooth over the hair with that brush, making it all nice and consistent, almost like a beehive on the side of the head. Using soft brushing motions, you don't want to go too hard, otherwise you're going to pull out all the teasing and it's going to look awful. You're going to smooth it out nicely and softly until it all meets in the back of the head. And then we're going to go in with some of that glue spray, spraying it down a little bit, giving it a bit of a spritz, and then doing, repeating that process again, where you smooth that brush nice and softly over the wig to create a nice smooth surface of hair. Now, using some pins, we are going to start from the bottom and crisscross those pins, making sure to catch some of the tracks from both wigs to seal them both together and lock both the wigs together, because you're gonna want this teasing and this hair to stay in the back of the head. Because remember, the French twist is just an easy hairstyle. It's not anything hard. It's just to give you that nice, glamorous look without having to do so much work. And remember, these long styles, they tangle up so quickly and they travel so horribly. So the French twist is always a great option for you. And feel free to go back in and fix anything you think is out of place or any hair you don't think is quite smooth just yet. French twist is a great base for many different hairstyles. You can get really creative with this. You could barrel curl the top. You could make a braid on the bottom with the hair that's laying down. You could do all sorts of fun stuff, make fountains out of the curls. The options are limitless. This is also a great starter for an updo. At this point, you may notice that one side of the hair is a little greater than the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my teasing comb and on the other side that I didn't French twist, I am going to pack that hair down again and just tease it up so it's at the same density as the other side. If you want to make this an updo, the minute you start pinning in the back, you just do the same process to the other side, and you fold it under and pin it, and that way you have a nice easy updo. It kind of looks like Patsy from AbFab. Smoothness is key. You want to make sure you can't see any of the teasing underneath the hair. A good trick to use to get the volume back on one side is, I take the end of the brush and I spray it with some of the glue spray, push upwards with the end of the comb, just to jerk the hair upwards. What it's doing is it's digging inside the teasing that's already there settling, and you're pulling it right back up. And then you'll see that the back of the wig is all pinned up, and you can see those pins exposed. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm using black pins. You're gonna wanna use pins that match the hair color better, that way you can disguise them easier when you have to. 
Now, to cover the pins, you could just put a barrette or a bow or decorative pins over them. Or what I do is I take some of the hair and I smooth it out along the pattern and I make a nice barrel curl, you could say, and just pin it to the back of the wig covering those pins. Now, for a French twist, you're going to want to use a curly wig. You're going to get the best results with that. I'm using a straight wig because I didn't want the curls to interfere with any of the styling. I want to make sure you could see it all very, very clearly. But just imagine this hairstyle on a curly wig. Oh, it'll be so beautiful. And just doing those finishing touches with the brush and the hairspray, and then you're done. Well, this is the final result, everyone. This is a simple, simple French twist. You can do it with just about any long wig. And this is the best hairstyle to use if you plan on doing a lot of gigs in a very short period of time. It travels the best, and you can always pack it in your suitcase so easily and fluff it right back up. So I hope you learned something today, and if you didn't, you're a lost cause. I don't know what to tell you. Alrighty, Mwah. love you all, kittens. Bye. Click here and see me style an even bigger drag queen wig or see me do my entire face in Kat Von D products. If you don't click it, the Slender Man will get you and a little baby kitten will die.